All right, so now that I'm on the topic of XML, I would like to show you a way of turning Excel to XML. Why would I do this? Well, I'm a lazy guy. I don't like to type in individual little boxes as far as adding an entry, waiting for the web server to go in, add that entry, and etc. I want to import my entire definition, word list, or whatever into Moodle right at once. Now, there is a guy that actually created a script, and I like to plug in real quick if I could find this. So, David Fountain, thank you. This was in the year 2007, and it still works great. So, I always like to plug whoever made this stuff, and kudos to me for finding this stuff after 2007. All right, so Excel to XML. Let's open this up. Save it to a disk. And open it up in Excel. Now again, you can use this in Excel 2000 on up. I have 2007, but just to let you know, it works great. I don't like the word concept. Concept says something like, well, it might be the term, but it's still a concept in my mind. I want to hardcore say this is a term and then definition. So my term is going to be learning community. Okay, and I'll adjust this out. And I'm just going to put a fake definition in here. Uh, let's say, you know, a group of learners. Okay, so there we go. Now, look at this. Security warning macros has been disabled. So what I want to do is hit options and enable this content. Now, if I kind of page over to data or formulas, let me think, ah, view. Here's my macro. View macro list. And look at this, this workbook prepared sheet for Moodle. I'm going to run this macro and it's going to bring up this menu. What I'm going to do is just make sure the check mark is in all these. And keep in mind that you can go as many deep as you want. I can have 5 billion uh, entries in Excel. So just keep that in mind. It's just term, definition, term, definition. The rest of this stuff you might not use. If not, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, create XML file. I'm going to save this onto my desktop and call it Moodle Glossary 2. Just so I don't cheat. And there I go. Now, let's go back to my Moodle and go into the glossaries. And go to Moodle Terms. And import entries. I'm going to browse page down and get that file, Moodle Glossary 2, and hit Save Changes. Now it's going to have a bunch of rejections, but one, because the rest of the things I did not use. Hit Continue, and voila, Learning Community, a group of learners appear within the glossary. So again, if you need that little script or that XML file producer, it is right here. Alright, so on with the lessons.